Hello, and welcome to the Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am O Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. For those of you who don't know what the Cardboard Coat Check is, that's a silly name we've given our unboxing videos, or at least I've given. I would love to come up with a better name, because I like it, but it's just not perfect. Cardboard Coat Check's okay. I haven't come up with anything better. But if you can think of something better, let us know in the comments. So today I am going to be opening up a shiny new copy of Teotihuacan City of the Gods. Pick this up at the local game store, Hugan and oh whoa, Hugan and Munin's been closed for years. Sorry, the CG Realm. Picked up this at the CG Realm local game store here in Windsor, Ontario. Uh, got a really reasonable price on it, all prices tax included. Was really impressed. I picked it up after playing a demo copy of the game at the store. Uh, the fact I bought this full price from a local game store after playing it just shows how much I liked it. I usually spend some time trying to find a deal on games before buying them. Not that the prices were bad there, but I usually try to find a deal. So I am here. Uh, again, I'm Moe Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Uh, I'm normally here to answer your gaming and game night questions, striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Uh, we are going to take a look at what's in this box because I want to play it tonight in about two hours, less than two hours hour and a half i got some people coming over and i'm hoping to get this to the table so i need to get this open and i figure why not show you guys so just a little bit of background on the back travel back in time to the greatest city in mesoamerica and become a part of its history witness the glory and the twilight of the powerful pre-columbian civilization gain wealth and resources guide your workers secure the favor of the gods and become the builder of the magnificent pyramid of the sun Teotihuacan City of the Gods is a strategic game of worker and resource management, clever planning and adaptability. Each player commands a group of worker dice, which move around locations on a modular board. With each move, a player relocates one worker to a new location, always choosing one of its two areas to perform an action and upgrade their workforce, or a powerful bonus, but no upgrade. As the mysterious twilight of Teotihuacan approaches, Players research technologies, raise the magnificent Pyramid of the Sun, build houses for the inhabitants of the city, collect precious mass, and climb the steps of three great temples to secure bonuses granted by the favor of the gods. Strategize, adapt to a different board layout every time as you play, and look to the skies as each coming eclipse means that your efforts will be evaluated and your fame tested against the passage of time. A.K.A. it's a uh, point salad. So this has already won multiple awards. Dice Tower Seal of Excellence, Man vs. Meeple. Uh, it's on a couple Game of the Year lists. I think it, it was nominated for or won the Golden Geek Award. Won a bunch of awards. I dig it. We're going to take a look at what's in this box. Just using an X-Acto to open this up. Plus now you won't have as blinding a glare showing as I hold up the box. So it's worth noting this is printed by different people in different countries here in Canada. Our copy is from Boards and Dice. Uh, I think it's NSKS Games or something in the States. So you can see mine's uh, the Boards and Dice edition. As far as I know, there's no difference between the different editions. Lid off. This is relatively heavy, I will admit. All right. Oh, that's how everything comes. Not too big of a mess. So one of the most important pieces right here, right from the start, are going to be the tiles for building the Temple of the Sun. Oh, we just have a bag full of components. I can see those tiles in there already. We will open these up. So we have little black discs. Little black discs. Got white wooden hoses. Oddly not your standard Catan hoses. Cubes. Great cubes. Red discs. I'm not going to hold these up since you already saw the black ones. Yellow cubes. Same as the gray ones, but yellow. Two thicker. 
I'm sure these are round tokens or something. I haven't played before. I don't quite remember what these were off the top of my head. But there's one white and one black. Blues player tokens. Round. The wood tokens. These are like because they are not cubes. They're nice little sticks of wood. Thought that was a nice touch the wood was a slightly different shape than the gold and the stone uh, and then my favorite color yellows player pieces little discs and what everyone wants to see despite what it looks like on the box these are not mahjong tiles for a long time when i'd seen pictures of this game i always assumed that it was a bunch of mahjong tiles but no these are wooden tiles with four symbols on them and these all stack up to form the pyramid in the center of the table. You get bonus points for matching the symbols. So if you stack on top of a tile with this matching symbol, you get one point. And then the color-coded ones down here, if you match the color of one of the gods, you move up on that appropriate colored god track. So here's another example of a tile. And these can be placed any direction and then they stack up making a pyramid shape. Makes the game very visually appealing once it's out on the table. It's great for catching people's attention. So bag full of those tiles. Really nice pieces, just not what you expect looking at the pictures of the game. Uh, we have our thing. Here's our pro tip, board game pro tip of the night. Keep these, keep them in your games. They keep out the humidity. Dice and all the player colors. I'll open it up just in case you're seeing too much glare. If I could open it up. Pretty standard D6s, nice, easy to read. Nothing fancy, but doesn't need anything fancy. Baggies! Props to any company that includes baggies with their games. The rules of play. So we're going to flip open a few pages. Full color. Lots and lots of examples and pictures. I love that. Board set up. Like, look at the amount of examples here. There's more pictures and examples than there is text. That is fantastic. Love it. I haven't read this game was taught to me when I played it on Saturday, so I am going to try to get this read before people show up tonight to play and see what we did wrong the first time we played, because every time you play a game for the first time, you play the extreme version. Now we're going to get to the punch boards, which there are a ton, so just to show you how much is still left in this box, we got a lot to go. So here we have a bunch of the masks that you collect during the game. And these are the, for the player board. So the player board has a bunch of worker placement spots, basically. And they're printed on the board, but what you can do is you can randomize them. So these are the two of the ones you can randomize. And you're going to see a whole bunch more of those. See, and you have another randomization. So you can do different ones. We're going to put those over here. And again, more board randomization tiles. And then discovery tiles on the outside, which you can also collect during the game. So like this tile, you go up on the red god track, blue god track, any god track you like. Get some cocoa, which is the money in the game, which we should hold. See a whole bunch of cocoa counters. Uh, these are for the start of the game, for starting resources. So this is similar to Zulkin. You would get four of these tiles and pick two, and they would give you your starting resources at the beginning of the game. Um, you got some temple tiles here. These, I didn't realize these could be randomized. So the lock, so where the praying spots on the boards can be randomized as well. I didn't realize that. That's cool. And then we have our cacao or cocoa, however you want to pronounce it. The money in the game. Personally, I would have liked some wooden money. That would have been a nice touch. Like uh, Zolkin, same designer. I bought wooden corn for that. It would have been nice to have wooden for this too. Some more punch outs. I don't know what's up with this. It says promo. I have no clue what's up with that. I'm wondering if it's a promo for another game. It is. It's a promo for another game. Dice Settlers. That's a cool touch. Um, turn order tokens. What else we got on here? Times five, just in case you run out of those resource tokens. They give you times five. So it's a nice touch. Um, these are for decorating the temple. So you actually put these on top of those wooden tiles. Then we have the board. Now this is going to be hard to open because this is a big board. So I am going to back up and see if we can get this whole thing in the camera here without ripping my board before I actually play. Obviously I'm holding it the wrong way around. All right. 
Eric. There is the rather busy board for Tail to walk in. Let's see, can I get it mostly in camera? Not really, I gotta bend that way. There we go. So that's the rather busy board. So what this actually is, is a rondelle. So you're gonna go around the outside track. Every turn, you're gonna move one of your dice and you're gonna move it as many spots as you want, either one, two, or three spots along the board. And then you're gonna do the action there. So that's it. That is everything that comes in Teo Tawakin. Uh, no divider, no insert, no way to organize this stuff, but they did give you baggies. I apologize for hitting the bell. I'm just gonna toss this stuff back in. Again, I'm hoping to play this for the second time tonight. I was very impressed by the game the first time I played it. Hoping it'll be even better with the second play now that I know a little better what's going on. Of course, I put everything in the lid, but it fit in good. So there you go. Teo Tawakin, City of the Gods. That's what you get inside this box. Multiple award-winning game. Lots of people curious about this. You can thank my wife, Angie Games, who insisted that I get a video of this before I opened it up to start playing tonight. So for Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can join me here on Twitch every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, where we record the next episode of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, where we answer your gaming and game night questions. If you have a question for me, send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. While you're here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, depending on what platform you're watching me on, and keep up with all our content that's coming out. You can also visit tabletopbellhop.com where you can find uh, my thoughts on games like Teo to Walk In, reviews, uh, answers to questions, game night advice, uh, lists of podcasts, lists of Patreon accounts, tabletop crafters, and lots of other great stuff. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night.